Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to the video where we talk about the item of the month and review my options. <laughs> it's May and I am doing a challenge for myself to try to use my um, stash, if you will, or my supplies. And I decided to challenge myself to every month choosing an item of the month to include on every page of my daily journal. So this is my journal for May. And the item of the month that I chose, I need to make a sign. I need to put something on here. But the item of the month that we randomly pulled from the bucket, if you're new here, uh, is what? Punches. Punches, punches, punches. So um, I know some of you have commented, well, I don't have any punches. And um, I, I understand that this is not um, something that everyone will want or can play along with. And then some of you have said, oh my gosh, I have one or two punches, but I'm totally looking forward to trying new ways to use them and whatnot. So uh, yes to that. Yes to that for sure. I have this little scrap on my desk. I'm going to pop it in here uh, to my monthly view calendar. Okay. I um I happen to have some punches and so I wanted to get them out. I keep them in a drawer across my room. My room is I don't know 10 by 8 maybe. It's tiny. Um maybe 12 by 10, I don't know. But regardless, um but I don't like to get up all the time and like get stuff out of drawers or whatnot. So I have carts kind of around me. I tend to keep my most used items in there, including my most used punches. So some of them you guys have seen, obviously. Some of them you haven't. Some of them I rarely, rarely get out. Now, I I, I, <laughs> I got a new container for my punches so they could sit next to me. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Let me show you that container. Now, in fairness, I didn't buy it just for this, but... Um, it is this cute little basket from Target. It was in the dollar section. My girlfriend had one and I was like, oh, I would like that actually for work because sometimes I go to the different classrooms and take things and I carry a tote bag with me. But I thought the basket was really cute. It folds up. So this all comes in, the sides come in and it folds up flat. So I thought, oh, that's really cute. I could stow it like behind my desk, you know, beside my desk. And I thought, oh, for the month of May, I'll keep my... um uh, punches in there. Well, I, I, they don't fit. They don't fit. So I got out all my punches. They are in three different boxes and we're going to take a look. I can tell you right now, they're not all going to fit even on my desk. So let's take a look. Um, there is one punch that's not in here. Is that accurate? There's one punch that's not in here and it's pumpkins and it's with my I left it with my Halloween stuff because I'm not going to use it this month. I'm just not. My sort of original idea, I also don't have my earphone mic in, so please forgive me if the sound is off. Uh, I'm going to see how much space I can get here. I'm trying to just look where I have you. Um, I had a thought that maybe I would use a different punch every day. Now, one, I have more than 31 punches. I know, I know, I know, I know. Two, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but let's look. Um, I guess I'll show them to you. This one's cool. This one is a what? I don't know. Is this a Martha Stewart? No, EK Success. This is an EK Success. This one's fun because... Um, you can place it anywhere on your paper. So what do I mean by that? If you have a piece of paper and let's say you want to, I'm not going to do it because I love this piece of paper and yes, I'm still hoarding it, but let's say I wanted to punch right in the middle of my paper. I could, you got to, you got to line it up though is what you got to do. There it goes. Um, you got to line up the bottom with the top. Okay, and you could make a punch right in the middle of your paper, which is nice because normally, you know, we need to get like right to the edge or wherever. So this is a fun idea. Where's the magnet? There it is. So you could punch right in the middle. Now, I'm not going to do that in this piece of paper. I did, however, just use this punch. I did it on the edge of a paper, but you can see I punched those out and used the squares on my page today. So, um... 
Oh, it is a Martha Stewart. So Martha Stewart obviously coordinated with, there it goes, you can hear it. Uh, so the, yes, that is a Martha Stewart. Here's another Martha Stewart. And these border punches are fun because they do fold up a little bit to save a little bit of space, okay? So this one I actually really, really like. It's seashells and I haven't used it um, very much and it is perfect for this month. So this is another reason to go through it. The tab punch, you guys all know, um, I didn't design it. They didn't ask me. If they did, I would have turned this around, okay? Um, if you want to, it punches just a single tab. I feel like I should be showing you guys some tabs or some stuff. Here's a heart one I just did. Uh, let's see. See, I've been, I've already been punching things, friends. I've already been punching things. Um, if you want, because I have no spare paper, I have none, not one piece. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, you guys, we have issues when I can't even let go of one piece of paper. Okay, let's go through this little scrap bucket really quick. Now, some of it's too thin. So this is comp paper. It is almost too thin to kind of show you some of this. So here's a good piece right here. This tab, if you don't have it um, or haven't seen it, I don't, I also don't particularly care for these. I usually take them off. This tab punches a single a single tab, right? Which is fun. Now, if you actually want it to punch an actual tab, you have to fold it. Now, this is why I would have turned it around so you could get it this way, right? From the edge of your paper, but no, you've got to get it this way. So what you want to do is put the fold in, okay? And what you want to do is have a little bit of, of paper right there so you don't catch it in the punch, right? So you get the fold of the actual paper. And then you get a true tab, okay? that folds over your paper if that's what you want, okay? So that's my tab punch, which I use frequently. I know you guys have seen that one. All right, here's a fun heart. You guys have seen this one. I love this. This one is Paper Shapers. I don't know where you get that brand. I got this at Goodwill. I love the folk art heart. Folk art art, <laughs> say that, geez Louise. All right, here's a giant circle. This is a Recollections, uh, which is what, Michael's brand? This is two and a half inch circle. This one is the EK Success. I got it at Goodwill for at most $5. Again, I don't, I don't really remember. Um, and I also tend to usually uh, punch upside down. So you can see where you are on your paper, if you care. This is just a piece of whatever paper, so that's a fun one. And this one stores uh, a little bit flatter because it has this, so that one's fun. All right, here's another fun border. I love this. It's a scallop um, with little tiny dots, really fun. I wonder if I could do something like this and try and get them um, like my border punches here. We'll try it. Okay, here's another border. Now this one's um, a big one. This is Martha Stewart. This is like a heavy doyle, doyle, heavy doily lace. They don't have like, they don't have a thing on it, like an identifier in terms of what actual punch it is, but you can see it's like a lace really pretty. So I think we'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll keep going. All right. Here is a scallop circle. Uh, I just have used this today. One and a half inch. All right. Here's a fun one. This is like a slot punch. Um, 
it's not the same as just the ID slot. I know some of you guys have those. I obviously took the Goodwill sticker off it. This is from Stampin' Up, but it makes like a oval, just like a slot, obviously. Um, kind of cool. All right, what's next? I have this fun border. This is what we used on the first page of May. Gives a really pretty slotted border. And then you can put something through it. So I put a piece of ribbon through it. It's right there. You could, um, I have cut strips of paper and run it through it as well. Really fun. Really fun. Okay, so there's that one. This is a fun border. I have also used this recently. Um, it gives the notebook edge, right? It looks like it got ripped out of a, uh, you know, a notebook. This is another EK success. And you can fold this one as well and get it a little bit flatter in your drawer. Same. Oh, this one lost its clicker. That's funny. This one used to be able to do that and you can no longer do that. <laughs> so that's another EK success. And I think I have room for one more in my... Okay. Here is another border. This is a Martha Stewart. Now this one does not fold, but you can tell this is a real dainty little lace um, border. This isn't gonna line up pretty like I had envisioned. Here are some hearts that I really like. This is a EK Success as well. Oh, Paper Shapers. Paper Shapers, yeah, EK Success. So Paper Shapers must have contracted. Um, this is EK Success also paper shapers. Yep. Okay. I really like these. I think these are very nice, solid stair, uh, punches. I, I happen to really like both of these. All right. There's those. Oh, here's the creme de la creme. I have had, that's not even true. I have had two of these. I had to buy one used off of Etsy a few years ago now. This is my favorite punch of all times. It is by EK Success. Also, it is, I use it as a border punch. It is actually a flower punch. You um, cut this out and roll them up and it makes these little rosettes. Favorite stamp or punch of all time. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So um, there's that. And then I have this, again, EK Success uh, Stampin' Up contracted them. Oh, Paper Shapers, crazy. So EK Success must own Paper Shapers. Maybe that's the brand. Maybe that's what, EK Success is a stationary company and maybe their Paper Shapers is their punchline. Not too sure. Uh, Stampin' Up contracted this one. And this is the infamous Whale Tail tab one that everybody wants. Um, so those two are Stampin' Up. This one looks the exact, oh, because it's Stampin' Up also. There you go. There you go, folks. There you go. And so when you buy them new, they're not cheap. Not gonna lie. This one is not Stampin' Up. But same, yeah. This one is Folk Art. Folk Heart. Um, okay, so. I have one left in my bucket, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. Okay, box number two. I don't know how to do this. I'll take this one out of this one, and I'm going to put these away. So let's count so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so far we're at 16. And I'm going to put them back in the green basket for now until I figure out um, what I'm doing. Okay. Obviously, we can't have them all out at once. Um, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I guess this would be the time, like, if I really don't like a punch to get rid of it. I guess. I don't know. That's a good theory. Uh, not too sure I'm up for the challenge, however, but we'll see. All right, so there's 16 in that bucket. Okay, now I have another basket. I still wanna save this one because it goes with a set, so I'm just gonna see. Oh, okay, here's another Stampin' Up! one. Um, this is a, I don't know, tab one? It's not a tab, what is that? This one actually came with a matching stamp set, so you could stamp this little outline and then put a greeting thing inside of it that says like, hello, and then you could stamp it. 
again, solid stamp or uh, punch. All right, here's a hexagon that I had to have. My husband's going to start the chainsaw right outside my window. When it goes, you'll know. Uh, here's a little tiny uh, flag. What do you call these? But banner, uh, mm, that, whatever that is, that's what, there's no name, nothing on here. Little tiny one of that. Okay, here is another circle, one and a quarter. So what I might start doing is putting all my circles together. This is, yes, another Stampin' Up! one. We could, we could organize them by maker. They're not going to get organized. I don't know who I'm joking. Um, yeah. Here's a Martha Stewart um, border. Now, if I were to choose my least favorite stamps, this would be in that pile. Although I really like it, it it makes this kind of, well, it's not weird. I mean, it's exactly what it says. It, um, I, don't, I don't know why I don't like it. Why do I not like it? Now watch, I'll fall in love with it and I'll be like, it's my favorite. And yes, we're going to use this. So don't you worry. We will find a use for it. I mean, I guess it's pretty. Um, okay, here's what I know. This is cardstock and um, this works fine. When you punch it on thinner paper, this is very, very fragile. And to use it on a border has um, been difficult. You could obviously edge a, like a picture with it, right? That would be fun. Um, yeah, so maybe that's why. Maybe just because it's so fragile if you do it on thinner paper. But we can use cardstock, obviously. All right, here's another border. It looks like a garden gate to me. Again, not one of my favorites, but I did obviously get it at Goodwill for the most $6. Um, yeah, I mean, I like it. We could, we could again, do comparisons. Okay, here's one I'm not going to use this month. This is a snowflake, but again, I got it at the thrift store. It's a Martha Stewart. It's a good quality. Um, yeah, so definitely not going to use that one. And I can, I mean, let's hope, right? I mean, come on. It better not be snowing in May. That's all I'm going to say. Um, this is a fun border. Again, $4 at the thrift store. This one's interesting because it's very, very daint, dainty. Um, I don't know why I'm making my life so hard. Let's, and again, some of these work way better. Ah, look at that. Sometimes a good drop allows it to release. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Um, can you see that? Kind of fun. Wavy and the little dots. Kind of cute. Yeah. All right. So there's that one. Um, let's see. I guess I'll just cut those like that and put them in the basket. We still need to make our capsule for this month. All right, what's next, you ask? Oh, this one's fun. I've never used, um, okay, this is a big flag as opposed to this, this size, right? Um, this one's fun because it also has, uh, what? I guess a hole punch right here. Let's see. Let's see what it does, shall we? Uh, it has a, oh, now see, this is a good example. There it goes. Nope, there it doesn't go. So sometimes on thinner paper, these don't, let me put this box away. Sometimes on thinner paper, these don't work great. That's a great example. That edge doesn't cut very well. And that's so annoying. Let's try it on some cardstock. Oh, this is cute cardstock. This is from the page I made today. Can you even imagine? Look at that pink. E gads. That's going back in a scrap drawer. Um, this is really fun too. 
what what do I have that's not so fun? This is not quite as fun. It's fun because it already has a fun edge on it. Let's see if it'll punch. There it goes. Okay, so that's fun. So that's all I've used it for. It does have... I, I don't know how this works. Oh, okay. Then you take this thing and you stick it in here, right? That whole, yes. Look at that. Look at that. That's super fun. Now, what it doesn't do is set an eyelet, but it does hole punch that punch. Okay, so that's fun. Yay. So, yes, let's use that, shall we? Let's use that. All right, scraps of paper. Let's see what else is in my box. Do you want to see the box I'm using? That big cardboard box that we saved a while back. Guess what else I have in here? Another Martha Stewart border floral daily doily type thing. It would probably be helpful if I put them all together, huh? Let's do that in another, in the next step of this video. Because I can tell you right now, these are pretty dang similar. I also can tell you one of them I bought in a haul to make a video. So, um, yeah, but that's fun. That's a fun one. Really pretty. Is that this one? No, it's not. See? And we probably don't need both. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, like, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, 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 pretty. Let's do this. Let's fold this to make myself a catcher. While we still have a little, oh. Here, we'll use this as our catcher. And line it up right there. It's a bit much. I mean, it looks like a doily. Maybe. It's super pretty, but... Um, and again, I don't know how much pun punches retail for these days, uh, except for the Goodwill price, obviously. But those are the two. Yeah. Okay. So we'll dump that. All right. Now, I also have, this is a fun corner punch. Um, again, this is definitely on my not favorite list for sure, okay? But the corner punches, uh, you got you to gotta take out the window things here, and then you can stick that corner in. You can stick your paper in. I can't learn. I can't learn to leave my thing out. And it's going to give you a nice, this one's very Art Deco. Oh, did I lose part of it? I think I lost the second little thing right there. But, um, yeah, you know, fun, not exactly my style all the time. So this would be in my, oh, yeah, see the papers in here. Um, yeah, so there's a corner. And then we have a fun oval. This says two two inches this way and one and three eighths this way. This is a uh, Stampin' Up. Oh, this is a Stampin' Up one. This might've been one of their first ones before they went to this handle or maybe vice versa. Maybe they had the handle and then they went to the flatter ones. Uh, yeah, so pretty fun. Okay, so, oh, and I have one more in this box. Oh, and it's a little tiny corner rounder. Now I rarely use this, uh, but let's, Let's give it, it's, I mean, it's tiny. It is, it's, it barely does anything. See right there? And you can see it barely sticks, it barely holds this corner at all. Look at that. I mean, yeah. So we might as well, we might as well do all four now at this point. And, and then we get ourselves a nice little crooked journaling card. <laughs> Talk
totally crooked journaling card. Yep. Mm, not sure if we care or not. But for right now, we don't care. Oh my gosh, totally crooked, but hilarious. So there's a little tiny corner runner. So let's count. We're going to count the snowflake just so I can count it in my stamp numbers. Right? All right, there's one, two. Oh, and I have one more, a little tiny heart. This is another little folk art. Okay, so I'm going to count it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, so we are exactly at 30 so far. I'm stacking them, you guys, and I have another. Huge bucket. Holy cow. Okay. So let's get rid of this. Okay. The first thing I want to show you. Nope. I guess we're not ready still because I want to show them together. Here's another border punch from Martha Stewart. Love this one. Same deal though. Same deal. If you do it on thin paper and you're using it on the edge of a journal, this can't stick out. It's very dainty, right? It needs to be like in a journal with like a photo on top of it or some, you know, scrapbook or something like it. It's not meant to be a edge edge, um, but super fun. Okay. That's a fun border. Now here is a border that's not my favorite again. This one's interesting. It has two different, I gotta put down, I gotta put stuff down to show you. Let me get out a piece of something to play with. It has two different stamps. This is a, what brand? It's called, I mean, the, Patterns called trellis. I don't. Oh, right here. Oh, we are memory keepers. Okay. Right here, you can click it to get different patterns. So the first pattern, and you can round it on the corner somehow. I kind of forget how to do that. And if I remember correctly, it's not the easiest stamp to use. I'm not going to lie. Um, Wow, old dog, no new tricks here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep it facing, this handle facing me because you've gotta push down pretty hard. Okay, and then you just move it over and line it up again. Okay, there's that, and that's kind of fun. Now, if we move this to that one, then we get a different pattern. And this one's a little easier to stamp because it's only going down halfway compared to the other one that Oh, and I missed one. <laughs> I missed one. That's okay. Um, yeah, so you can see the difference there. So that's kind of fun because it gives you like two options. Now, I also, um, you're supposed to be able to, hold on, let's see if I can figure out again. Why does that not work? That only works on the blue. Mm. Let's just play for a minute. Okay. I think if you do it this way, it's very strange. Um, I forget. 
somehow right here, you're supposed to be able to get this corner. I don't know how. Oh, just like that. Hmm. Don't know. Never really used the corner part, obviously. So, fun stamp. Um, I also think you can put this handle down. I mean, you need some hand strength. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie on this one. You gotta push the handle down. And then you can lock it, and then it, it sits a little bit flatter, okay? But it's a pretty hunker, hunker of a stamp, in case you didn't know that was a word, hunker. All right, so there's that. Well, you've seen these before, so I'll show them to you again. I, I have a third one, but these are fun because they cut a full circle, you take a six by six, a six inch piece of cardstock, which I don't, I mean, we could cut one, but that's not even close, not even close. Let's see, let's take, I don't wanna use this piece in front of me. What do we wanna do? We need a six by six. here. These are kind of, whoops, these are kind of fun. We'll use this one because I know I can use it. Obviously they sell six by six pads of paper. Um, but if you don't have a six by six and you have by 12 by 12, you obviously have six by six as well. Okay, these are fun. Again, if you're new here, welcome. If not, you've seen me do this. So uh, it's called eight because you need to punch it eight times each piece that you work with, okay? So on the front, you're gonna punch it four times. You're gonna take each corner, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to flip it over so you get the corner that hasn't been punched yet, and you're going to do the same. One, two, three, four. and you get that fun design. So this one is, um, this is called Vine. They're called Mini 8 Punch. Um, I feel like I got my first one at like Tuesday morning, and I obviously got this one at Goodwill, you can see for no more than five bucks. Pretty fun, I actually, I actually like this one. Um, here is one that looks more like Oh, it's called trellis. I would say it looks more like, um, and I feel like I have one more, so maybe it's still in the bucket, we'll see. And again, flip it over and just do the opposite. Now you can see I don't need much strength on these. I'm doing it honestly one-handed. I tend to pick this up because if I'm punching on my desk, it shakes you guys. You obviously don't need to pick up all your punches uh, and stuff, but I, I'm trying not to shake you guys. Okay, so that's a fun one also. It does match that. Okay. Oh, right there, we are memory keepers, and it is trellis, and so is this. So that is the same um, 
design. If you were doing a whole scrapbook page or something, you would want matching. I'm sure they match the colors to, uh, you know, so you could match your stuff, right? So you would have this with a photo, whatever you'd have the, you know, you know, you know, if you used to be a scrapbooker. Okay. So those are those, those are super fun. Here is a really fun one. This is called a oh, Tall Ticket by Mick Gill Craftivity. Tall Ticket. Obviously, I've used this a bunch. That's a fun one. All right. Here's another border punch. This is an EK Success. Yes, EK Success. It's a fun floral. Like, kind of. No, I guess not. It looks a lot like butterflies to me, if we're going to be honest. Okay. But that's a fun one. This is an interesting one. This is also an EK success. Yes, and I guess it's called Screen Chain. Um, on my not favorite pile. Not, not used a lot pile. Let's see why, shall we? Yes, I just got out my ruler. My, mm -hmm, my scissors are right here. This one, I'm not even trying to line it up, so I missed it. I, I apologize. That was sloppy, but you get the gist. It's like this little tiny thing. I, I mean, I rarely use this. I don't know. That one I, is definitely on my not used list. So there are some I could definitely get rid of. This would be one of them. Um, oops, but again, oh, it doesn't lock anymore. That's interesting. Uh, and I got it at, you know, the thrift store. It's a fun, like, I don't know, idea, I guess, but I just don't pull it. Like it's not one I pull frequently, obviously. All right, here's another corner, a Martha Stewart corner very close to our other corner. Where's our other corner that we had? Did I, um, shoot. Did I cut it off? Mm. This one's very close. Take out the very close. So maybe I need to do that and really decide, right? I like this one more than the other one. The other one's a little bit more art deco. All right, here's a nice square. What is this? Um, does it say? Anybody want to guess? One inch. No, one inch. Yes, no, no, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. Square, which I don't tend to use that often. Here's another one I found. Here is pff, Creative Memories. Come on now. Oh, I take it back. Take it back, Allison. They have centimeters. They also have inches. Okay. So two, here's the one inch square and the three fourths inch square. And for those of you in centimeters, it's 1.9 and 2.54 centimeters. Okay. So there's the difference. There's, you know, three squares in size. This one's relatively new. I got it not too long ago um, at uh, Goodwill. Uh, it's part of Creative Memory Memory Keepers Club. I don't know what that is or was. Creative Memories is one of the first scrapbooking in your home, like first scrapbooking clubs ever. Uh, and it says not for resale. So I guess you weren't supposed to resell it. I mean, you know. All right. Here is, oh my gosh, here's one for you. This one. You can barely, barely, again, another EK success, yeah? Nothing on here, nothing. I feel like this is the same as this, which it, it is definitely the same, um, but it has this on here, interestingly enough. This is very delicate. <laughs> 
I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm just punching. Look at how tiny that is. Can you guys see? I mean, it's little tiny dots. Yeah. So again, not one that I pull very often. I really thought I would like that one, but I don't know. I haven't, I just haven't really found a way to use it except to make confetti. Look at the little itty bitty confetti. I don't even know why I put that in that trash can. The trash can has holes in it. All right. Oh, here's my other eight. Here's my other eight. So where's... All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there is my third third one, which I think does make a doily. This one's, oh, this one's called Raindrop. What do I know? So those are my three. Um, I think that's super fun. I actually really enjoy these. And you can see the different, the three different designs there. This one's actually probably my favorite or that I've used the most. This is my least favorite, um, but super fun idea. Okay. So those are those. I have, oh, I have another square. So now we have this for squares, which I rarely use, like rarely. All right. Um, oh, I have another, this is Paper Studio, which is what? Um, Hobby Lobby. Now this is the same. This is the same as the Stampin' Up, isn't it? I mean, that's pretty dang close, is it not? Let's see. Ugh, see this? I don't get it. Okay. Uh, we're, we're pretty similar. It's not the same. It's not the same. Similar, not the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. I hear you. I hear you. All right, here's a fun border. This one's a Fiskars, as you can see. Uh, I actually like this. It's a little, mm, I don't know what to call it. I would say scallop. I don't know if it's technically a scallop or not. I will say these are not the best punches. Weird, I know. I just don't feel like they're as sturdy or as sharp or something as like, the heavier ones. Ah, see? Come on. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's not going to release now. Mm, that's going to make me mad. Yep, so we'll play with that one a little bit. It'll release. I'll be sitting here and then it'll pop up and it'll scare me. So that'll be fun. Here is a Happy Planner Rectangle. This was what you had to have. You had to have this if you had a Happy Planner because you... Oh, that's making me mad now. Come on, guy. You can do it. The other thing... Oh, there it went. Um, sometimes you can like kind of go like this on the bottom of it and get them to come get them to release. Uh, this, it's literally a rectangular, but a rectangular rectangle, but it fits the original Happy Planner box, right? So you could cut out all your paper and put it on your planner in each box. Yep. 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 It's kind of a funky, I don't know. Yeah. Creates three, six, five. All right, there's that one. Let's see what else we have. No, we're not done. No, we're not done. No, we're not done. Okay, here's another We Are Memory Keepers. This one is called Doily Border. Now, again, I might, 
I might have to go through all of my punches because this is very close to some of the Martha Stewart ones. Remember this, this double edged one here that we just looked at. Remember how it does two things. Um, remember how it gave us this one and the single edge. Oh, here's the other corner. When we were looking at those two art deco corners, there's those two. Um, this does the same thing. So it will give you a single part or the whole doily part, right? Which is kind of fun. Um, also, in my humble opinion, I think, I think we want a little thicker cardstock on this. Now, also remember when you're punching specifically like shapes, this part is fun to play with too. You don't just need the inside because that outside's super fun. Okay, so on on stuff like this, you get two. You get the inside and the frame, which is fun. Okay, so we'll probably use that sometime this month. Let's see what we have. We have, this should be the single side. Let's see what we get. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> All right. I missed. I think I missed it. I don't think there's supposed to be two little ones here, but I could be wrong. Um, so there's the single side. And if we do this side, it's going to go <sighs> all the way down, which is just a heavy punch. Nope, so that's where you only get one measurement. All right. Oh, I can hear my husband. I, no, I can't. I can smell my husband outside burning stuff. Oh, I guess it has two. I guess it has, I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's just a heavy punch. So that way you get a strip, which is kind of fun. I don't know. No one needs this many punches. Nobody, nobody. Okay. All right. What do we have next? Oh, what do you know? Another square. So this is a Fiskars. What? That's an inch, is it not? That's an inch. But we already have this one. So we're going to have to make a life decision over that because I don't need two inches. That's for dang sure. This is a Stampin' Up! tag. This one came with a stamp set as well, but it makes a cute little, you know, tag, obviously. It's a small one. Again, uh, Paper Shapers was the brand of stamp, obviously. All right. Now we're down to, again, a least favorite. This one is another border for Martha Stewart. And again, most of these I got at the thrift store, you guys. So um, I guess we can try it on this one. I hate to use this piece of paper on this, but we'll maybe we'll fall in love with the punch. I can tell you that's probably not going to happen, but I mean, it's cute. I don't know why I don't like it. I just and part of it may have been I was using the wrong paper. I mean, it's cute. Maybe I just have to punch more on cardstock and not paper. Um, yeah. I don't know. All right. I won't give up on it yet. I won't give up on it yet. Okay, here's another border. Again. I've used it similar to this one. I have you in frame. It's see all these, they're very fragile. In fact, this all might be Martha. We got to do better, honey. We got to like, there's no labels on these of what pattern, but you get the idea. 
You get the idea. That's not even close to straight. Let's... Yeah, but this is exactly what happens. If you don't catch it, it... Yeah. Again, it's cute. It's cute. And y'all know I'm a sucker for a border punch, so... All right, what's this? Oh, another corner rounder. This one is, um, not that you don't know what a corner rounder is, but yeah. Now, this one I could probably get rid of. Why do I not get rid of my stuff? Let me think. Let me think. I, oh my gosh, look at all the corners. Look at all the little corners that have lived in there this whole time. Um... I don't know. I don't know because I think like one day I'm going to share them or I'm going to host the retreat and bring them all. I don't know. Here's what I know. I have two more that I haven't shown you. I have two more crocodile corner punches right next to me. This one is a corner rounder with a half and a quarter, which is the same as this. Okay. So I don't need, right. And this is quite frankly, easier to use. Um, what did I just cut on? I felt like it, oh, right there, I did. So uh, if we went with the half, same, okay? So, and then this one is Art Deco. This is a stub and a deco. So I don't need this, I don't think. Well, I guess they're a little different. That might be a half. That might be the quarter. doesn't matter, and no one's going to be able to tell on a single page. Oh, what do you know? Here's another. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, I can tell you the design's a little, like, slightly different. Um, I mean... I, I don't, I couldn't tell you. I can just see like they've written on here, half inch, quarter inch, the writings on this metal part on this one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, and it says empty waste bin frequently. I've never opened the waste bin. Don't even, didn't even know there was a waste bin. There's one corner in here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Didn't even know you could do this. I guess you should read directions sometimes. Didn't even know this was a thing. Not even joking. I don't know where I thought. There's no corners in here. How is that possible? Huh. That's weird. So I have two of these. So I don't need two of those. That's for sure. All right. Here comes the little bitties. Here comes the little bitties. All right. We have a little bitty star. Super cute. We have a leaf which we're not going to use this month. It's with a snowflake, right? We have another corner, like an Art Deco corner, which is not... Um, oh, is it a corner? I think it's a corner. I'm not too sure. What happens if we just put a piece of paper in there? Oh, it gives you a weird... I don't know what that is. Huh. Probably don't need this one. We have a little paw print, which I absolutely need. Oh, another snowflake. <laughs> okay. Oh, another snowflake. Those better not be the same size. I'm going to cry. They're not. They're different. Like all snowflakes are different, right? <laughs> yeah. You want to know how often I use a snowflake? Interesting, but different. And I have the bigger one. So we would make some life decisions about that. Now here's like uh, baby feet. Probably don't need baby feet. I mean, as soon, oh my God, and they come out separate. Holy cow, those are little tiny ones. I would probably use this part um, like cut out a square 
I don't know why I'm saying cut, punch out a square. If you can figure out how to work your punch, which I can't. All right. And then add a fun little whatever color you're doing for the shower or the whatever. All right. And then use this. That's what I would do as a little like tag or right on a little goodie bag. Cause ain't nobody got time to be gluing all these little tiny feet on, but you could use them as confetti. All right. Here's another little star. That's fun. Is that the same size? Let's just see what we have. Oh, that shot literally right at me. Okay, there's one, two. Um, similar, 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 not the same, but if you didn't have them literally next to each other, you couldn't tell. This one's a little softer. I would say it's like minutely bigger. And then there's this one. Um, okay. And we are right in an hour. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, goody. Another square. Anybody want to take a guess at the size? Smaller than an inch. I think it's this three, four inch. So again, if this one works well, I would get rid of this one, right? So another square. Here's another circle. Don't know the size. Okay. Oh, another circle. Little tiny one. So this is fun. I'm going to get rid of some stuff. I can tell you that right now. Wow. I don't know what this is. Oh, get out of town. It's a little tiny cat. Um, I've never seen a stamp like this. I don't even remember buying it. It probably came in a bucket or something. I, I don't even think. Uh, what on earth? I think it's missing a button or something. I can't even. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. I don't even, I don't even know. Getting rid of a stamp. Yay, I got rid of one. Oh, and here's grass. Oh my gosh. Grass. Yep, and I'm keeping it for sure. That's hilarious. Well, I can tell you stories, but you know. Okay, do you want to count them? E-gads, e-gads. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. This one will go in here. 32, 33, 34, and 35. Oh, dear God. Um, do you remember where we were? We were at 30 and that's 35. That makes 65 stamp, uh, punches, 65 punches, friends, 65 punches. Um, I don't want to know your thoughts. Don't tell me your thoughts. I don't <laughs> slightly embarrassed, but glad we had this little this chat. Um, yeah, I need to get rid of some punches. This will be the first to go kitty cat. I'm not even counting that in my punches. Okay. Um, I need to go through specifically circles and squares. Cause I think I have some duplicates. Um, never going to get rid of this. Like, you know, there's definitely some, I don't know if I need three snowflakes. I mean, I can see it coming in handy, right? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can make an excuse to keep anything. Yeah. Um, so hence 
that's why I do the item of the month because I want to get out my stuff. I want to see what I have and I want to challenge myself to use it. Now, if I don't use some of this in this month of days, um, I have to really ask myself why. Like this one in particular, I don't know how to use that stamp. I really don't. I guess it's just for decoration. I mean, they're all for decoration, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess you could sew like with a really fine thread and I, I just don't know. So, okay. Let me know your thoughts. I will. I, I, I am prepared to hear them. <laughs> just be kind, be kind with your words. Um, yeah, there you have it. It's May. The item of the month is punches and I, I need to start using my punches. So we're going to find other ways to use them as well. Um, not just in our journal because that's ridiculous. Uh, and some of them are very pretty, obviously. Right? I mean, both of these are gorgeous. And, and I do actually like this one. I don't know why I don't use it more. So hence, hence we go through them and see. All right? And I have three really fun doily ones. So, or middle shape ones. I don't know what to call these, but... There you have it. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to I'm gonna start punching stuff on my pages. That's what I'm going to do. And going through them and maybe putting them together so all my circles are together. I don't know how to organize them. Um, they're just in a drawer. So I know some people have them like on holders, right? Like that hang on the back of their door type thing or in those pouches. And that's just not my thing. Um but let me know. Let me know how you keep yours and let's let's chat about punches, shall we? All right. Have a great day, you guys, and I hope you find something today that inspires you.